All right, so I'm going to go to the Pompeii Sim next. Um, and whoops, I just uh, hit my cat in the face. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go to the Pompeii one, or let's go to the Moon Colony one first. Um, and then uh, that was done with the easy build tools. So now everybody remember when he goes over there, uh, he's, he should be over there now. So if you open your radar like we did before, all you have to do is find his name and hit the go button. How many people, Selby, are on the tour today? So I'll count avatars, and then when everybody, I have that count, then I know to start. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly, but I'll, all I can do is check the number of avatars again, which I can check from the radar. All right, you let me know when we're ready to go. I was thinking seven, but unless we lost somebody. All right. So anyway, this, uh, this sim was entirely created by a student. Now, what I mean by that, uh, what we did was we created objects in an inventory and, you know, some of them are textured very nicely. Some of them just have like a white and a blue color. That's because the models were like that. Um, and the idea was for the student to create a colony on the moon. And one of the things that's really nice here is that if you press, um, which button takes you up and down? Is it C? Oh, it's C and Z. If you press the Z button, you can actually fly around and you can see the entire design here of the moon colony, which I think is a really cool feature. So the idea that the student had, uh, I'll use his name, Michael Paxton, because his parents don't care, um, was to create a series of domes connected by corridors and then uh, on the end, that gray structure is a nuclear reactor. And I think he's got a rocket ship on the end of one of these. And the idea was to figure out what kind of buildings you would need for life support, what kind of buildings you would need for research. This would be a sort of 2050 design. And I told students, think about the year uh, in terms of how complicated you want to make this thing. But literally, it was using the easy build tool, uh, going into the inventory, uh, clicking, oh, yeah, add that structure, add this structure, and then nudging them and rotating them into place. And I thought it was going to be tricky, but it turned out I thought he did a great job. All the, all the tubes are connected to the domes very nicely. I mean, it looks like, you know, what you might actually see on the moon one day. Um, after you use Z, how do you go back down? Uh, C. C. C key or, will drop you down. Uh, Val, page up and page down also works just like Second Life. Oh, Ready. cool. I Thank didn't know you. that. I'm so used to Z and C. All right, so this is one example of a student creating sim here. Uh, I'm going to go to the next one. Let's try Pompeii for you history buffs and uh, join me there. All right, heading to Pompeii. You guys are doing a great job. Anybody that needs help, just let me know. You guys are doing a fantastic job.
hope I did. <laughs> Voices live, yeah. You establish camera too every time. Okay. I keep forgetting that I have to click the microphone every time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Click the mic button or you can't hear me. Right. All right. So this is one of my favorite uh, Sims on here, uh, the Pompeii. And if you turn around, you can see Vesuvius in the distance. So we were able to get a model of the volcano landform. And then the other thing that we did was we got a uh, the blueprints of the actual layout of all the buildings in Pompeii. And what I did was superimpose them onto a grid system here. And then um, do you see the textures on the walls here? Mm -hmm. These are this is an actual texture from Pompeii that uh, I converted to a seamless texture yeah. and then applied to all these walls. So every wall that you're seeing here actually exists in um, the uh, you know in the in the city of Pompeii. And we got some columns. Uh, some other things that the student want was, uh, if you're familiar with Pompeii, you know that there are ash figures. Yeah. So over here you see the crouching boy ash figure. That's a model that we brought into, um, oh, uh, wow. into here as well. So you can get some really good detail. Uh, the student also wanted artifacts, so you could be like an archaeologist. And if you run around here, there's a sword and there's a shield. Uh, one of the thing, one of the ideas we had, which never quite came to fruition, was to use sort of like a maze. And so you see, there are questions here. It says, "In what year did Vesuvius erupt?" You know, 100 A.D. You go in this direction. 79 A.D. You go in this direction. So it'd be sort of like a maze where you would explore um, the city. And if you followed the directions and answered the questions correctly, you found different artifacts. Uh, we spent hours on this, and uh, we still didn't get it done. Uh, the student ended up graduating, unfortunately, <laughs> before it's finished. But it gives you an idea about how complex um, a structure. Yeah, if you fly up and use the Z key, you can see some of the walls that are here. And the other thing, oh, yeah, if you come over here, you can actually see the blueprint of the walls uh, that still need to be added. And... Uh, I just heard the convocation for my school system, and one of the things they're pushing is uh, creativity and collaboration. Um, you can have multiple students in one sim creating simultaneously. You just have to be careful when you organize it. So you could have some students working on one region, another students working on another set of the regions, and you click the refresh key and everybody's work reses. Uh, it is that's so cool to see uh, see the this being built out. 